Hey guys, Jess Halleck here. Today I am finally going to show you the difference between an original versus the layered on someone with fine hair. I showed it on myself to show I have a fine texture but I have a lot of hair and Micaiah has fine hair. It's actually naturally curly which a lot of you curly girl, gals it's very deceiving that you're like it's poofy but it's actually like a thin texture. So she's a perfect ex example to show you both. Um, I'm going to show you the 14 inch and the 16 inch because when we think of the layered halos, we think they're going to be really bulky and heavy and visually not, just not be a good fit. So I wanted to show you it on her. And then also previous videos I've done, I've really focused on the original being for people with fine hair. And since then, I want to show you that you can definitely wear both. It's just a different look, um, but they're both very, very discreet. So let me get a clip okay so i'm going to section her hair so if you have fine hair your main concerns usually is that you think you'll see the weft through your hair which i have fit people with even way less hair than her so this she's a good example of what a lot of fine haired people are but the same rules apply for really really fine hair like if you have thinning primarily on your crown but you have more hair here or um, postpartum if you're missing a lot of your sides and you're worried about seeing it. So I wanted to show you a halo that didn't have a root or a balayage on it because it's gonna pop coming through. So if you were gonna see it, you would see this one. So this is a layered 14 inch. The layered halos do have 30% more hair than the originals. Um, they're structured differently, so they're the thickest in the middle and then they taper off at the end. So I go look forward. The originals are more flat, which you'll see like up against her head. It is a little bit flatter, but as far as how it looks on, it's not, it's not a huge difference as far as like it being discreet or not. And what's nice about fine hair is that you really don't have to do anything to your hair for it to blend. Like she, if you noticed before, she didn't have any tight curls, just a bend in her hair. And that's all we need because it'll brush into the halo. As long as the halo has a wave to it, then she really doesn't need to do anything. If the halo is straight, then she'd want to make sure that her hair was straight just to match. But otherwise, it wouldn't really be a big difference. But I love when people with fine hair get the 14 inch because even though it's layered, it's not heavy at all. It is so comfortable. You can definitely wear it all day and not feel it. Okay. Wait, let me switch, switch it. Okay, there we go. So shape wise, you can see that it's thickest through right here and then it starts to taper off because it has so much hair. It still looks, you know, very, very full, but I want to show you the back too. Cause a lot of you ask like all sides. So if we were to see it, it would be peeping through back here. It's very bright, very obvious, but with her hair, it covers just fine. So if you had, let's say half of what she did, the only difference I would recommend is putting a slight root on it that matches um, your natural so that if the wind does blow, it's, um, it's just way less noticeable. People that are very, very blonde, that's a big one. So if you're, if you're like a platinum um, or just, you know, like my color, and, and super fine, then you, you would be the one that maybe you would see it. And the way that I would combat it is just to put a root on it and then you wouldn't notice at all. Because really you just need a shadow. It's when it's close to your scalp and it's so bright and you don't have too much hair on top of it. Like, let me see if I can create that. If she had just thin, thin. Can you see that? Yeah then I would just do a root and you wouldn't even notice. So there's that. Let me show you the side. Turn this way. So same thing if you're really thin on your temple area. Worst case, we would do a root on it, but most people are fine because you gotta remember that these are adjustable. So you could wear it high up on your head or you could wear it looser and lower. I have noticed people with fine hair prefer to wear it lower, I think, it just fits their head shape better. So when it comes past the bend, you have all this hair sitting on top of it and on the sides that helps with coverage. So if your hair is really thick, 
one of the rules is that you, you have to put less hair on top because your hair is so thick. So when your hair is fine, you can really put as much on top that will make you feel comfortable with it. But yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show you the shape of the 16. She actually has an 18 and a 16. And then when I put this one on her, I was like, mm, you need a 14. <laughs> this, this is perfect. Okay, so the 16, like I said, the structure is different. Um, if you have really fine hair and it's shorter, then usually we're looking at a 12 inch, um, an original 12, an original 16, and a layered 14 is usually the conversation. And then once you get used to them, you usually come back for like an 18 or a 20 and, and a longer one. But if it's your first time with extensions, we'll go within a few inches of your length or we could cut it to your same length. Like if she loved the thickness of the 14, but didn't necessarily want all that length, then I would just cut it right here. Here's her length. I would cut it to there and then I would texturize the ends and cut new layers into it so it wasn't so bulky because anytime we take a halo shorter, it gets thicker which is a good thing when we need it, but if you're fine, we want it to look natural. So we just soften the ends with layers and texturizing. Okay. Take this one out. I prefer to clip the hair up when I put them in just because it's a cleaner process, but you can slide it on and then use a pick to pull your hair out. I just think it gets very messy, so I don't. Okay, same color, no root, no nothing. Oop, this is a little tight. When I say that they're adjustable, this is what I mean. So there is notches and there's a hook and you can make it tighter or looser depending on how you like it to fit. And also relative to how you're styling your hair. Like if I'm doing um, an updo or pulling it back into a ponytail, I might wear it looser just cause that's all I need. I have one in right now. I have a 16 inch in right now, just so you know. Um, but if I, let's say I was doing pigtails or braids with my, my halo, then I would want to wear it tighter and higher up on my head. So then when I split it, you wouldn't see the halo at all. So it is nice that it's adjustable. Then you have that flexibility. Okay. So the original is more flat through the middle and the weight is at the ends. So she could easily wear a 12 inch and get probably two inches of length. If she's like, I just want fullness and I want it to look very, very natural, don't add a ton of length, we would go the 12 inch route. If she was saying, I wanna go long, but I just don't want it to look like not my hair, then I would push her to an original for the length because then shape wise, it still kind of mimics her thickness if her hair was longer. And then if she really wants to go for it, then we can do the layered 18, which like I said, she wears almost every day. So here's an original, but like, look at the shape. So her hair is here and it, you really start seeing it from here down. It's not like a, it's not bulky at all. So if we're adding a lot of length and you have fine hair and it's your first time, then I usually push you to an original for length. Um, but if we're just doing fullness and adding a little bit of length, you can go layered or original, no problem. Okay, let me show you the back. Perfect. So her hair, guys, literally has a bend. Like, I wouldn't even call that a curl. Maybe a little bit. But look how it just brushes in. That is honestly the beauty of fine hair, <laughs> is that as long as your ends aren't like super thick and blunt, you could wear your hair almost straight and barely need to do anything. And that's a good thing because if your hair is in like rehab, like you had a lot of um, color damage or you lost a lot of hair and it's growing back and you just wanna be careful with it, extensions are awesome because then you, you love how it looks and you're not going into the salon to get it colored all the time or putting a lot of heat with an iron on your hair. Um, her hair actually used to be, I would say at least a third less than what she has right now. And she's just been giving it a break and it's thickening back up, which is awesome. But these halos don't cause any damage. So if you have really fine hair and you don't want any more tension, there's no clips on this. It stays totally secure because we can tighten it or loosen it. Oh, let me show you the back. <laughs> That's the weft. So, sorry, squirrel. Um, I would put a root on this just, just for a little bit more insurance. I'd, I'd say with fine hair, we do custom roots a lot more often just for that extra. 
but Halo Couture didn't even have balayage colors until the last few years. So everyone's hair blends without doing a balayage route um, or a custom route. It's just better, which is something we offer. And it's nice that it's virtual, so I can just ship it to you. Let me show you the side. And placement wise, where this comes up, where's your ears? It's just in front of your ears. So it's nice to get some good coverage because it swings forward um, in her fronts but it's not like so far forward that if you're really fine, you're gonna see it. It is perfect. So the original 16 and the layered 14 are very, very similar visually. It's just preference. How tall are you, Mikai? I'm 5'2". Okay, so we don't usually ask your height unless you're very tall. So if you're like 5'8 or taller, um, I'll need to know that just because the where it lands on her might be shorter. It will be shorter on you um, But also placement will change where it lands. So on me like I'm wearing a 16 inch We're the same height. I wear mine high up on my head. I could actually show you and Because I do that um, it looks shorter on me so There's mine But if I wore it looser and lower then it would fall longer like it does on her. So anyway, if you have any questions, um, you can put them in the comments. If you're interested in getting one customized and shipped to you, we do all of this virtually. Um, you can click the link in the description and fill out an inquiry form and I can reach out to you directly. We'll do pictures, videos. Um, I'll show you examples of color and we can decide what customizing options are going to be best for you. And then we do everything virtually and ship it directly to you. And then I can still support you from afar. So it's a fun process. I'd love to talk to you. I hope this answered some questions on fine hair and anything else, put it in the comments.